I heard some commission boasting the other day. Someone please, in the commission was boasting that this really is sponsored by InfiniteCoin.com. Are you on the Conservation Commission? I'm sorry? Are you on the Conservation Commission? Yes. Sir. I've got a question for you. I heard some commission boasting the other day. Someone please, in the commission was please, boasting that, uh, that, that Lebanon has, it's only 30% developed. If it's only 30% developed, does that mean you're stopping people from developing? I mean, are you killing jobs? I'm not sure what you're referring to, but... Well, I mean... Have you taken steps to try and keep Lebanon only 30% no. developed? No. I understand that you spent, uh, your, your commission has spent $1.7 million over the last 20 years on beautification projects and other such projects. I, I have no idea. What do you think should happen to that, some? That's your figure, not mine. I, I heard, it from, one of your, I heard it from one of your commissioners on a radio wow, program. Why don't you recently. quote them? Okay. Uh, could I have your name? Clark Dustin. All right, Mr. Well, Clark, thank you. Are you on the Conservation Commission? Hey, I got a question for you. I understand, I heard one of the commissioners saying a couple couple days ago that uh, London there, I'm sorry, <laughs> that Lebanon has only 30%, it's only 30% developed. Is that true? I don't know. But to what extent are you guys actually trying to stop development? How many jobs have you prevented from being created? For created? I don't know. We're not preventing any jobs from being created. Well, if I wanted to build, uh, I could build just anywhere. You guys wouldn't have any say. <laughs> That's not what you're make saying, some, is it? Make suggestions. Well, um, what about this $1.7 million that you guys have spent over the last 20 years, as I understand it, according to one of your commissioners? Uh, well, what should happen to someone if they refuse to pay for that because they don't agree with the way you're spending the money. Well, I have trouble seeing you behind that light. Oh, I can move it over here. <laughs> so, but I can't turn yes, it off. That's before my time. Yeah. Well, uh, would you advocate less such spending? Uh, I don't know. All right. Could I have your name? How are you? Good. Oh, it's Dave Ridley for the report.com. I'm good. Oh, okay. Are you on the, are you on the Conservation Commission? Are you on the Conservation Commission? Yes. Question for you. Uh, uh, sure. I understand you folks have, I heard one of you guys saying on the, on the YouTube program, one of your commissioners saying yeah. that you guys had spent, I guess, like $1.7 million over the last 20 years on beautification type projects, that sort of thing. Uh, is that accurate? I couldn't confirm or deny that off the top of my head. I'm sorry. It's taxpayer money though, right? Uh, it's money, any money that we spend from the loss fund is from, uh, from land that's been taken out of current use, it's the current use penalty. And that's how we raise the revenue for that. So it is or isn't taxpayer dollars? Uh, it depends on how you look at it. I so, see. But it, it's, that's where the money comes from. So people put their land in current use you know, for a reduced tax rate, and then when they take it out, there's a, a tax, there's a payment that they have to make for taking it out of current use. Okay. I wouldn't want to speak to that dollar figure. Have we done projects? Yeah. Have we tried, and recently too, we've been trying to be more creative in how we spend money, you know, be more prudent. Uh, not that we haven't been prudent, but uh, even more careful, you know, in terms of minimizing any money that we spend on projects through uh, different ways of uh, investing, you know, in terms of uh, uh, easements and that kind of thing, instead of outright purchases. Yeah. So. I guess you guys would be looked at as sort of the, the local government land stewards, in a sense. For the RSA. Um, we just do what our duties per the RSA. How different are you from these federal land stewards that we're seeing causing so much trouble out in Nevada? What do you do to try to be different from them? Uh, I can't comment on them because I'm not really sure how they're set up. We're just for the city of Lebanon. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know you don't have too many snipers. What's that? I, don't, I know you don't have too many snipers. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I mean, we're just folks that live in Lebanon, you know, and uh, trying to do uh, our, what is our purview under the RSA. 
All right. So. Could I have your name? Um, Hal Bourne. Okay, thanks. What is this really good to meet you. It's a poor man's TV station, okay. Yep. Second, right. second most popular YouTube channel in New Hampshire. All right. All right, thanks much. Infinite Coin, the cryptocurrency that aims to provide cheap peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure in developing countries. Their motto, real money for real people. IFC is traded on Beater.com. That means it's easily converted into Bitcoin. I accepted Infinite Coin for this ad. That means you can too. InfiniteCoin.com